All right, guys, we're gonna do another unboxing today. Um, this order is kind of a random one. Essentially, what happened is our supplier was having some issues. It's Mark. Mark. Hello, Mark. Later. Where's the poodle? <laughs> Klaus. Klaus, you're gonna be on YouTube. Klaus, you're going on YouTube, bud. Like, screw that guy. Yeah, he's like, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> So essentially what happened is our supplier had a problem with his air pump, has to shut down an entire aisle, so we're kind of helping him clear out some of the fish. So this is a bunch of random stuff. So we'll go through it and see what we got. First bag is running out of air apparently. But these are the flying foxes. So they're usually mistaken for the Siamese algae eaters. They are different though, but they do eat green algae still. And I think we got about 40 of them in there. Sword tails. Looks pretty male heavy. Oh, these double bags. It's kind of hard to see, but this is a bunch of female betas. I believe they're half moon females. These are more Empire Gudgeons. We showed these in a previous unboxing. They are a fish from Papua New Guinea and Australia. They have an interesting spawning behavior where they spawn in freshwater streams. Their eggs get washed down to the ocean and they'll hatch in brackish or salt water. And they get about five inches. So these are Hemiotis gracilis or red tail Hemiotis. You can get some autos in there too, but. Yep, there are some auto cats in there. And Looks it. like a couple that aren't doing so well either. Fortunately, sometimes happens. Um, so these guys are from a different location where they have a much more red tail than some of the other ones we might have. These are just picked as cats. Uh, they get about five to seven inches. They will eat anything that fits in their mouth, so you gotta watch what you put them with. And they're just from South America. Want some pickles, guys? No, oh, hell sure. no, I hate pickles. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are more clown loaches. They're from Southeast Asia, from uh, mainly the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. They can get up to 10 to 12 inches long, although in captivity they typically don't quite reach that size. You see them more around kind of 6 to 8 inches. And they're, uh, they're a good community kind of bottom feeder. They're good for eating a lot of snails and kind of pest snails, things like that. So these we showed before. We haven't gotten an order of them in a while, but these are pandagaras. They're from Southeast Asia as well, from Myanmar. They get about three to three and a half inches. Um, we have noticed them to be a little bit semi-aggressive, um, but they are omnivores. They will graze on algae, um, as well as kind of frozen food as well. Okay, boys, see you later. Have a good one, Mark. Male betas? Cuppies. Cuppies? <laughs> <laughs> Brain power? Uh, these are garter tetras. They're an interesting tetra from um, South America. Uh, they're actually a cave spawning tetra, and you may also show a picture of them, but they get these huge sail fins and they develop a lot of color with age. So these are what they call red line tetras. 
uh, they are from a small area in Brazil, um, only occupying Rio Preto and Rio Marasa. And they'll develop kind of a more distinct red line as they kind of acclimate into a tank and get more accustomed to it. Boxes left. These are just more cardinal tetras. Uh, pretty small ones, but we sell a lot of these super fast. We usually can't keep up with the demand, so it's good to uh, get some more here. And another couple hundred in here. Uh, these guys we don't get too frequently, uh, just because they get pretty big. These are. Bala sharks. Uh, they get about 12 inches long, uh, but they are schooling fish, so they actually do better in groups. Uh, they're best kept in something like 120 gallon or larger just because of that, and they are really flighty, so when they get larger, they can kind of smack into the glass if they're scared, so they'll be a lot more comfortable if they're kept in uh, a bigger group. these a bunch of times now all right these guys are <laughs> yeah. so get those sliders <laughs> these are chelotus punctatus they're spotted head standers they get about three inches long and they're semi-aggressive Marmoratus catfish, they're also commonly called bottlenose catfish. They get about seven inches long. Uh, pretty shy, so they are one that's usually more out at night. They'll hide amongst kind of drift and crevices during the day. And that's pretty much whoa. That's pretty much everything for that video. Uh, so next week we'll have a shipment of rainbow fish coming in and then a few African circles as well. So check out that video when it comes. Thanks guys.